what is going on guys welcome i hope all is well so i made it to where i'm going to be camping today i made it to long lake you can see the lake is right over there i've camped here before i love it there's a an awesome campfire ring right here i'm pretty sure this is the one that me and my friends made last time and it might have been improved upon and added to but anyways i already got my wood out uh because the fire band has been lifted and we can have campfires now so now i'm just gonna unpack and enjoy being out here Well, that little bit of sprinkle all but passed. Now I'm headed over to the lake. I figured, you know, now's a good time because behind me, as you can see, the, there are rain clouds. But over in that direction, where the lake is, there really isn't uh, rain clouds, just clouds. It, now, I was looking at the weather. I, I was expecting it to possibly rain, sprinkle, so no surprise there. I did figure that now would be a, a good time to go to the lake and just enjoy being at the edges water since I don't have to worry about the sun hitting me. Man, when I first got here, whew, it was so hot. I was sweating. I think the temperature in the truck said it was 88 degrees. So it, it was hot when I got here. Okay, so I have camped here before. The reason I came out here now is because there's supposed to be no moon out and I wanted to stargaze. Now the rain I was expecting, it is supposed to die off. Like it's only supposed to last, I think the next hour or two and that's it, whatever there is right now. And then we're free and clear. It will be partly cloudy tonight. So I'm kind of curious how stargazing will go.
that was nice hanging out by the lake for a little bit. I ended up finding some trash. Now I'm going to chill at camp, wait for this little bit of weather to pass by, and then I'll set up the firing and get that ready for later tonight. I honestly, I'm super excited about that. So I will probably see you guys when I start messing around with the campfire. So I got the fire ready to go. I went off and I went and got like some like little sticks, twigs and stuffed them in the bottom just to help the fire get going so the wood can catch on fire. Uh, so interesting enough, when I got here, this wood was actually here. This little pile right here. That was here. And crazy story is that when I went camping with my friends like a year ago, uh we camped at this spot actually i brought them here to this lake to this very spot and at the end of the trip we have we had some wood left over and we're like well let's just leave the wood for the next person or the next like campers and that's either our wood or someone's keeping that uh tradition going which is cool so now i'm actually i'm gonna cut up this pineapple now the only reason I brought the pineapple was because it's it's ready. It's ripe, it's ready to go. And crazy thing is, is I went grocery shopping the other day and I was like, let me, you know, I went, got my stuff and I saw the pineapples. I was like, I really want pineapple. So let me get a pineapple. And I went and I looked for one that I thought was gonna be ripe in like two to three days. That way when I, I could go on my camping trip, do my thing, it would ripen at home. I'd get home and it'd be ready to go. Well, surprise, surprise, I get up this morning and it's ready to go. So I figured, you know what, let me bring it up. I'll cut it up here and I'll stick it in the cooler and it'll be good to go and I'll have some pineapple. So I'm gonna do that and then maybe in like half-ish hour or so, I will start up the fire. And it is uh, 75.5 degrees outside.
So the fire is roaring, roaring, ro roaring, roaring. Why can't I say that word? <coughs> Whatever. I'm getting ready to make my dinner. So last week I was going to make a salmon salad. Didn't end up making it. So I'm making it this week. I have my stuff, uh, my salad stuff here, some of it. So I'm gonna prep my salad, not put the dressing, say that for last. And maybe in an hour after sunset, I will, hopefully the wood will have gone down enough to where I can put my griddle and I can cook my salmon. I'm also making, um, what am I doing? So I'm meal prepping. So since I can have a fire, I'm gonna meal prep. So I'm making some salmon and some chicken on the fire. So I'll cook that. So I'll have that stuff ready to go for the week. Right now, let me go ahead and make my salad so that's ready to go. And then we'll chill and relax, enjoy sunset, and then we'll make the salmon and chicken. There you go, just the last little bit of light left. So I ended up adding more wood to the fire. Um, when I was finished with the salad, like cutting it all up and everything, I put it in the truck so no bugs or anything would mess with it. And I just uh, sat and enjoyed the fire. This is what it looks like right now. So now I am going to cook the salmon and the chicken and then enjoy my salad and enjoy the rest of my evening and the campfire.
Okay guys, I'm coming over here a little bit away from camp. So I had to turn off all the lights because the bugs were just showing up and they were just attracted to it. So I will see you guys after I'm done cooking the food and we'll go from there. All right. I wanna keep this light on just for a little bit longer so they get attracted out here because I'm a little bit further away. And then we'll go. That is what the fire looks like right now. I have everything cleaned up, pretty much put away and squared away. I am making uh, some tea. I'm warming up some water to make some tea. Here's my salad. So I ended up putting chicken instead of the salmon in there. So it's a chicken salad. Oh, and for my dressing, it's I used a little bit of red wine vinegar extra virgin olive oil, salt, garlic, which I had to use minced garlic because I forgot the masher at home. I forget what it's actually like, what I think, what's it called? I don't remember. Anyways, that masher to mash up the garlic, I forgot that. And then I added some lemon juice, some fresh squeezed lemon. That is my dressing. Um, I already tasted it, it is delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy that. And then when my tea is ready, enjoy that. And, you know, I will say real quick before I sign off for the evening, I was hoping to stargaze, but once the last little bit of light left, or right, right before it left, I could see some, like, just sheets of clouds rolled in. I'm still going to try to do a time lapse, see if uh, the sky clears up. The weather did say it's supposed to be partly cloudy all night into the morning until to tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, I will see you guys at some point in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. I have just been enjoying my morning. It's been perfect. I got the fire going really early so I could enjoy that. Now I'm just like letting it slowly dwindle away. There's just a little bit on there, so I'll let that burn away. And last night, the clouds ended up going away and the stars came out. It was beautiful. I got to stargaze. I ended up taking uh, the um, rain cover off and I just laid in bed and I, I, I was able to see the stars. It was perfect. Also, another thing I forgot to tell you guys last night when I was uh, enjoying my salad, you know, I was using this bowl. So I retired that bowl because it just got so old. You can see on the outside right here, it just started like peeling and cracking and it's doing the same thing on the inside. So I retired that and I was like, you know what? I'll just use that for like cleaning, washing, and you know, just holding water for me when I come out camping. Well, I ended up forgetting my bowl at home that I was going to use for my salad. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to use that. In a pinch, it'll work. And it worked. <sighs> Cleaned it out really well. And now I'm using it for, you know, washing my face and all that other, what I normally use it for. And now I am actually getting ready to make my breakfast. I am hungry, so I'm going to start doing that. So... Let's make breakfast. Check it out guys, here's my breakfast. I'm gonna enjoy my food. I'll catch you guys a little later.
Ooh, it is a hot one. Before I put the thermostat away, it said it was 89 degrees outside. Sun is fully out. I will say the only downside about this spot is you have no shade. Once the sun's up and out, you are in the sun, unless you brought your own shade, like my canopy. Anyways, everything's inside the truck, fire is out, and I am ready to go. So I am gonna head out of here. So just like normal guys, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.